Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy Heroes video and to another Grand Arena 3v3 round in Season 35. In today's video, my opponent is Famel. That's how I'm going to say it as if it's like Camel. I have no idea if that's how you do say it, but that's what we're going with. And they are from the guild Sigma Alliance SPS. They're obviously a very good guild and they have 9.2 million GP. So they have already attacked. We're obviously very early on into the Grand Arena phase. I think we're only 22 hours left. Um, but my opponent has done all their attacks already by the looks of things. So let's just jump straight into the video. Okay, so as you can see from the board, like I mentioned, my opponent Seems to have done all their attacks by Jabra is holding in the back. He is on four attacks at the moment. Uh, but I think they have one shot everything else. I haven't actually looked through the other walls to see what was going on. I just obviously checked to see what was going on with Jabra. Yeah, that wall was completely one shot. One shot as well. I'm assuming ships was one shot as well. Uh, come on, come on. I'm just gonna take it as, yeah, it's one shot as well. <laughs> Even if there was all five, uh, five ships out. Right, we are going to start off in the south as usual. And as you can see, we do have a Jabba and a Grand Crystal there. So my plan was to use SLKR, Boosh, uh, SLKR, Boosh, SLKR, Fost and First Order Officer against the Jabba, just trying to see if I can save my what, just to see what's in the back, because it is quite a weak front wall, I'd say, for what I have been coming up against. So I'm kind of hesitant that there might be something really good in the back, but obviously soon we get there. We've got a Qui-Gon Jinn team with Anakin and Ayla. I'm going to use a Bad Batch there. Then Malgus, we're of course going to be using Hondo. Yeah, you got to use Hondo on Malgus, it's just so much fun. Then Grand Inquisitor, I'm probably going to use Padme. That's my plan at the moment, but that might change depending on how I'm feeling, um, depending on how the other battles go. Because uh, we do just need to get a full clear here if we can, or just see, make sure we uh, clear enough to beat the my opponent's score. So for the CLS, I'm probably going to be using Iden. So I'll just quickly run over the Datacrons. Jabba's got a level nine Datacron, of course. With only one of the speed, uh, the turn meters, which is just for Jabba. So there's no turn meter on the, the first one. We have locks extra health, crit damage protection, and potency. And then the Granite Crystal one has the uh, Night Sister Revive. So this is one I'm quite hesitant to take Padme. That's the only reason. I just want Night Sister being really annoying. Obviously, you're relying so much on killing Granite Crystal really quickly, and that 139% damage and extra health and protection is. Uh, not looking too pleasant especially with that mark so i might actually take something different but we'll obviously see when we get there and then uh they obviously get the bonus from grand Quister. so that's pretty much data crons i think the level three on the malgus is the revive yes it is so mongo is gonna have to kill him twice but anyway let's just jump straight into this fight so we'll just start off with the chapa i'm gonna go for poke That to you, then do a swipe. Uh, go for a basic now. Wow, okay. Ah, come on. Jabba. Doesn't matter, just basic because it's got blinded. I give a swipe from Jabba. Ok, 
Okay, that's the Omi coming into effect there. Right, let's go into ultimates. Right, Pope, because Anthony might die. Almost. At least we can kill him now. Pope Chabba might finish him. And there we go. Or A60. So, not great banners. Obviously, that's only a 50 banner win, but. It is a good way to get it done without having to take water or anything like that with us. Okay, so I'm taking a bit of extra potency and armor, just try and withstand the nuke from Gen Anakin. But let's do this and hopefully get a stun. Right, let's do this. Let's stun Anakin again if we can. Okay, good. Got the expose on Qui Gon. Let's hit him with a basic. Take him down. That's good. Right now, we're going to go try and go for a double tap. And if we can kill Qui Gon within this uh, one hit, that'd be really good. If he, if we don't, we might be a bit uh, screwed. Okay, we do. That's good. Right now, we can just kill Anakin. And you still my man as a push derailer. Uh, a basic. Okay, the mud. I was gonna try to see if I recover some that one banner, but their mine's got fifty six. I'll take that. All right, now we're gonna captive Malgus. So, a quick show my days, Kron. Uh So, I quite like this level six one here because it means I can really stack my ransom stacks up really, really quickly. Um, because now we can call in Mount Hondo with uh, Kira. Now we can use the special and call in Kira again. Now we do a basic. Now that resets all our cooldowns. Now we can captive Malgus again. And now we're on 30 stacks before. Are they taking a turn? Yeah, they must take a turn because we're taking damage. <laughs> Not paying attention. Busy focused on what what's going on with the. Uh, Hondo over there. <laughs> oh, if you if you could rate characters on how much they make you smile, I think Hondo would definitely have to be up there. <laughs> it's nuts. That was captive Malgus again. Right, this spell. Maybe kill Malgus in this? I am. Ah, oh, have to retaliate, don't you? <laughs> uh, right. Yeah, I don't care about banners. That's just so much fun. Now the classic item V CLS. Take a bit of extra potency and obviously using the turn meter on specials just so we can get out of the gate really quickly. Just on Chewie, got the dodge. Wow, okay. Right, try to stun him. There we go. Right, cleanse. Nice double stun, that's good. I'm gonna get any on Death Trooper, but the assist is always handy. Right, try and stun CLS if we can. I was hoping we might have killed Chewie out on the side, but uh, let's just do let's just go for the kill on someone, Luke, and then we'll just basic Chewie to finish. Or maximum banners. Because I am still using Padme, but a slightly different team. So this is what we're taking in terms of Datacron. Using the Give Me team that I saw Zaraf make a video of. And it does look really interesting. So I'm always intrigued to see how this will actually go in terms of play. Um, yeah. Right, let's go for a burn. I'm actually going to go for a heal here. Now 
And we go for a kick. So that's one night nice sister gone. <laughs> For armor shred on her. I don't think this is going to go very well. <laughs> looking at how the board is looking at the moment. Okay, well, you're not meant to cleanse yourself, but okay. Be uh, sick. I'm guessing this just takes a while. I'm sure this will work eventually. I'll go for another burning. Yeah, that's the only one I don't want to get the mark on. Okay, good, you could cleanse it off. Uh, let's just basic here, try for stand and get it. Really don't want Gideon to die. He said die. Okay, well, that sucks. If you had that, what's that on me? Why is that on Darth Revan? He didn't even hit me, but it's gone on Darth Revan for some reason. All right, let's get a shock on Night Sister if we can. Nope, of course not. All right, here. Oh, they can't even be feared, can they? It's this stupid Datacron. If we can kill Grand and Quista, I'll be happy. You said we take it ahead? Okay, alright. It's because of the Datacron, right? They can't be feared. Yes. Damn it. <laughs> There's always so much to remember, and then the CG come along and add something else to remember in the, the mix. Well, it has worked, but... Why? <laughs> Still, I'm at... Oh, I forgot I'm about to kill you again. Okay. <laughs> what a stupid fight. Okay, goodbye, my sister. Okay, so we have made it onto the back wall. And as you can see, we do have a ray there. That is the only really big threat on that wall. Nothing too scary. I'm still quite annoyed with that Padme versus Grand Inquisitor fight. Obviously, I just wanted to try something a bit different out. I think I took the wrong third option. I probably should have taken a Dispel of some sort instead of R2, just so I could go for uh, Grand Inquisitor early. Like that would have been a better play, but it is what it is. Basically, I can't really do anything about that now. And we are going to go through the rest of the walls. I'm gonna try and mix things up a little bit and use some new counters and things where I can. So, we are just going to start off in the south. We're gonna get rid of the ray first, at least, and then we'll work through everything. Oh, so I'll just go through both walls now, just uh, so it's easier. We really have a lot to worry about in terms of data crons on most of these teams. So, for the Fin Resistance heroes, I'm going to be using CLS with Chewie, well, Chupio, and C3PO. Then, the Boba team, I'm going to be using Grand Inquisitor see with his data cron. And then, Dooku, I'm probably just going to use JML. I don't really have another plan for that. Shaq, I'm going to use C Solo. Had the main base Ahsoka, I've seen that Viz. Uh, Piet and Dark Trooper can beat this, so I'm going to give that a go. I did get to have a chance uh, fighting it in on my Giant Scout using Imperial Troopers, and that went okay. Uh, I do think there's something slightly different I need to do, but we'll obviously see if we go into that fight. 
And then for the south wall, I'm going to be using Wampa against this Darth Revan Ambassador Sith Empire Trooper team. Obviously, JMK with Cat and probably Watt against the Ray. Then Jenna Luke, Mace Ahsoka versus the Maldos team. And Night Sisters versus Tuscan. So I'm actually going to use a Sarge with Ducker and Zombie and see how that goes. Uh, obviously, I do have the Sarge Omicron on this account, so I'm just. Try something a bit different. I would say if we can wipe them all out with an AOE, that'd be brilliant. <laughs> and then for the Radus, I'm probably just going to use SLKR solo on um, thinking. So we should just jump straight into this and we'll start off with the Ray. Just very quickly, is Dekron. They have this extra hell steal. That's what we're taking. So weapon tech over to Cat. Think of hero, heroes arise. <laughs> Hello there. That's what I was going to say. Uh, Right, pass turn over to you know, Master Kenobi. Now we need to get healing immunity on Ray. Let's give that to myself. Get a faster ultimate charge. I'll put Mepak onto JMK. That's unfortunate. She didn't go underneath the 50%. By what? Okay, now we can get rid of Ben. And he's permanently gone, which is brilliant. Alright, get cat into damage immunity. Go into our ultimates. Now oh, maybe we just get rid of Ray. Uh, I didn't know near as much damage as I thought it was gonna do. 52k is pretty disappointing. That's a lot better. Now we go after Holdo. She is out of here. 454. Slam. There we go, 48, 58. Okay, well, I was expecting to get a turn. <laughs> well, that didn't work out exactly like I thought it would. I was expecting to get a turn. Oh. <sighs> I can tell you exactly what I forgot with the last fight because I was expecting to go straight after um, Maul took his go but I completely forgot about Canaris's kit and they gains turn meter every time he flicks a dot so obviously as soon as Maul goes he does his twirly thing which I wasn't too worried about. Obviously, I was worried about the five stacks of anguish like he's got now. But obviously, that gave Candorus enough turn me to, to take a turn before I was going to take a turn. And then that's obviously when everything went wrong, <laughs> as you saw. Uh, so that's very frustrating. But I do have Treya to clean this up. Wow. For a day, Kronos. Oh, nothing too crazy. Yeah, that is pretty frustrating to throw away a battle like that, but we live and we learn. I think I need to take some uh, some brain medicine or something, because... Why did I say I could use as a car? I guess this I literally just used it against Jabra in the last zone, but this is what we're taking now. We're going to aura bounty hunters uh, with my aura cron, obviously, but my aura is only uh, relic six, so the level nine isn't in play. 
Let's do this. Bye, Radus. Just got to wait for Mando's turn, basically, to get annihilate. Not gonna use the air. I want to get cleanse. And there we go. Now we can use it for maximum banners. Okay. So this is what I'm using for these Tus these Tuscans. This is the date run I'm taking. So I've taken this one in so that when Zombie probably dies, uh, even though she'll come back and we'll only get it for the first time, that 15% extra offensive speed is really going to help out. And the obviously potency and protection is going to be nice for a bit of extra survivability. So go for a stun. Now I have no idea whether it's actually going to work or not, but... Let's get rid of those taunts. See, they'll come back again. <laughs> Never mind. All right, go for a stun. If this times me out, it will be very sad. I think I might just put this on full auto. There really is anything I can do. Hopefully, uh, Sarge will use her AoE. And she will just ramp up loads by uh, zombie dying loads. Through her rampage unique. On AoE. Uh, I bet she won't use her AoE, will she? Oh, almost. And stall out, stall it again. Basic, please don't. Damn it! That's so annoying. Why did you have to kill? What is she just basic there? Ah, uh, one more turn. A heal. Basic. No! He's got more health. Please don't kill him. <sighs> so annoying. Both of them die. Are you kidding me? Are you? Come on. Well, now you go low enough when I, it's not my turn. All right, hit you. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> why? Why does the Sarge always have to line up so perfectly, and then they get it gets ruined by someone else go and taking a turn? Okay, we'll just get really annoyed.
No, I should have done AoE there. I knew it. I knew it. I'm gonna run out of time. Right, sorry, it. Spam. Oh, there we go. Okay. Never mind. That was all planned. Get, get down to the last 30 seconds and then you know I'll win then. That's what happens. Blind <laughs> uh. you. No, oh, that matters. This deck I'm taking, just like very extra protection and health, nothing too crazy. Ready we stop going after CLS please. There. Kill Poe if we can. We go. Uh one more turn. Yeah, we're gonna not gonna get that banner back. Let's try to go for a bitty's block on Dengo. Good. That's just basic here. Base block again. Let's heal up. Let's see if we can cover those banners and then throw this out. All right, heal up again. Please, I want full banners. Might be full banners. Yeah, okay, good. Going for C solo. I'm gonna link up Echo. I guess we just link up Chuck. Let's link up Arc actually. and easy. Right now we've got Troopers v Padme. Hopefully this will work out alright. Now I kind of want to all go all in on Padme this time. Last time I went all in on Mason it didn't work out. get on Padme but get it on Ahsoka at least and kill Padme. Nope. Kill her now. There we go. Then basic to finish. It'll be 56 like it was on my other account. Just taking in something a bit different. Going with a Bastard lead JML rather than with him as lead. Let's go for a jump. Okay, do this. Then, too worried about you. I'm gonna call in Yoda. Kill you. That was about the buffs. Kill Dooku. Get rid of these buffs because I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, almost. At least now we can move on to ships and hopefully get a win here if we can. Okay, so now we are on to ships. We do need to clear a decent amount of them. I think we actually need to get a full clear here to actually win. Um, just going over some quick maths in my head. I'm pretty sure that's right. 
a bit about 70 banners a win, so 140. 63. Yeah. Yeah, I need to basically kill all the fleets uh, in order to actually secure a victory here. And this is probably the toughest fleet zone I've come up against in a while. Even though negotiators on the front, we do have both an executor and a fanity to face here. So I have set executor on defense now because I was trying to be a bit more confident in my usage of executrix with scythe against the meta fleets so that's what we're going to be doing here so we're actually going to be using scythe versus profanity um, and then we're going to use profanity versus the executor and then i'm probably just going to use uh, malevolence versus the negotiator and hope for the best really so we will start off with the profanity because that's really going to determine how the rest of our fights goes really so let's just jump straight into that Okay, that's good. All right, basic. Now, do I want to do AOE? I think I want to do AOE here. Video I watched, they did AOE. <laughs> All right, go for a burn. Can't lose our thingy. Uh, I need to call in Scythe first, really, I think. The dispel would be really nice. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't know what to do. Right, basic you. Okay, good. Oh, we got our protection disruption off. That's brilliant. Gonna heal up bomber next go if we can. Oh, I should have gone off to someone else. Right, let's heal up. Bomber. Kill Y Wing. Let's get some foresight up. Another AOE. Yeah, goodbye. Uh, what does this do? Yeah, get that to Vader. Ghost. I think we just ultimate finish. I guess we can. Nice. Well, I don't know what banners that'll be. 71. Not bad. I'll take that. Get marks on you. Do this. No assist. That's not good at all. <laughs> uh, right, we'll do basic. Come on. Oh, that's not good at all. That's not good at all. Yep, that's really not good. I was going to call him Cassian. Are they going to call him Hound's Tooth, no doubt? Uh, well, gonna have to try first order now. 
First off, we're going to do this Malevolence 5 versus Negotiator. It's fine. Let's go for stun, stop you from taunting if we can. That's good. Um, let's go for it. I know Ahsoka's going to cleanse it and get, give retribution, but... Oh, come on, don't start dodging everything left, right, and center. Why? Out of the two ships that I would have liked to soak or Anakin, it goes on to plow. Oh, my God. I knew it was going to be fleets to let me down. <laughs> uh, what should gone for a bit to block on the house to do there, uh, really? Basic, that's good. See this. Is that house two. Okay, good. Pretty to block. We stun you. Good. See this. Basic. Stun on Razor Crest. Stun on you, nice. Let's give this over to you. Go for a big hit. Nope. Ah, oh, this is annoying. You stun. Be good. Special forces now. Big hit on the house tooth. Morning crew. House tooth gone.
Right, what do I uh, do? Go for a double tap. Yes, okay. Right, we're gonna get carried away. Let's try and kill Plo while he's here. Oh, come on, even Hawk. You absolute beauty. Oh, do I go for a soaker? I think we need to go for a soaker, really. Get rid of that and do this. No, there's no way that this is about to work. Sorry for my lack of talking. I'm really, really trying to concentrate. <laughs> oh my god. Right, what's this do? Right, another. Oh, okay. 25% Terminator sounds nice. Not if I'm going to die before I get to use it. Yeah, you can't kill even Hawk. Right, can I heal anyone? Right, I'm giving it to even Hawk because he's been absolute clutch. I should have saved the buff immunity now for that. Alright, let's go after... Oh, it's Rex then. I thought it was Sergeant. Um, do this. Get rid of that crit damage immunity. Oh my god. This is where it helps having a Relic Carth and uh, Carth on record, I suppose. <laughs> That's about the only time it actually helps. Because <laughs> you get Relic Pilots. <laughs> well, I've got a Relic T3 from Super Sortie. I'm actually going to get a win here somehow. That is a completely miraculous win against... Uh, well, it was a full negotiator fleet, wasn't it? I don't think I killed anyone well, with benevolence. Yeah, that's... Uh, no, I can't believe that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> even Hawk. If I had taken even Hawk, I would have lost. And that could have determined the rest of my, the whole of my Grand Arena, essentially. So I know who I'm putting in my thumbnail at least. Oh, so we have finished on 1965. <laughs> One ending to the Grand Arena. So I was okay. Uh, obviously with the ground zones and then it's like a really hard like meta. I'd call that a meta fleet wall for Grand Arena. I don't know if anyone else would agree with me on that. I'd say at least Profanity and Executor is meta, and then I guess you probably would say that Executrix with Scythe would be the next meta fleet, um, at least now. But Negotiator is still very hard, as you saw. <laughs> but then not as hard because we were able to clean up with an Empire fleet afterwards. But I'm hoping my Jabber is going to continue to hold. I'm pretty sure he is looking at the rest of my board and the fact it's got four fights on it. I'm assuming they just don't have anything left. I could be being baited here and I could wake up uh, tomorrow morning as it is quite late, uh, finding out that I have lost because they actually did clear my jabber. But as far as I'm concerned, that's another win. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get back on in time for the end of the phase. So I'll just leave it now and I'll put down in the description whether I won or not. Uh, and thanks very much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, like and comment, it's always much appreciated. And don't forget to hit that sub button down below. 
and I shall catch you in the next one.